now it was all on the floor. It was all scattered all over the floor. Mother Yashoda could understand this was Krishna. That Krishna had done this. But where was Krishna? She could not find it. Krishna, he knew his mother would be coming. He was hiding himself. So Mother Yashoda was looking and then she saw Krishna. And she began to approach him. And she was carrying a stick in her hand. And when Krishna saw his mother coming with a stick, then he became afraid. And he got up and he began to run. And Mother Yashoda stopped running. She ran after him. And the two were running. Mother Yashoda's running. And Krishna's running. And Krishna's crying. No, no, Mama, don't, don't beat me. Mother Yashoda is carrying the stick. So Krishna was afraid. He thought, maybe Mother Yashoda will beat me. I saw he was running, running. Mother Yashoda finally caught Krishna. And Krishna is crying. Oh, he's crying. Mother Yashoda is holding the stick in one hand and she's holding Krishna in the other hand. And Krishna is crying. And so Mother Yashoda thought, this child is always doing mischief. So I have to stop him breaking any more pots of butter. So I will tie him up. So she got the rope. And this is how he got the name Damodara. Dama is the rope and Udara is the belly. So one whose belly is bound with ropes. This is Lord Krishna's name. And Mother Yashoda, she got the rope, and then there was a pastime with the rope. The, the rope, first of all, was not long enough. She tried to, to, because she put it around Lord Krishna, and then she wanted to tie it. But the rope was not long enough. So she got more rope, and then still was not long enough. And then she got more, and she got more, and she kept adding more, but it was never enough rope to tie up Krishna. And Mother Yashoda was, why? Why you like this? She became very puzzled. And then Lord Krishna became kind to, to Mother Yashoda, and he allowed Mother Yashoda to tie him up. So this is how Krishna got the name Damodara. One whose belly is bound with ropes. But he's not with ropes, but he's bound with his mother's love. Because Mother Yashoda, she had so much love for Krishna. And it's by love which she could bind up Krishna. Not with any ropes, but with the rope of love. So Mother Yashoda, she is such a great devotee. She's such a great devotee, much greater than any Deva like Brahma or even Shiva. She's such a great devotee. She's always Lord Krishna's mother. And she's so great she can even tie up Lord Krishna. So during the month of Kartik, we always remember this song. We remember this pastime. And you can see we have the beautiful form here, Mother Yashoda tying up Lord Damodara. And it's customary that to worship this form, we offer a lamp. We're, we light a lamp and we offer the lamp. And we will do this every day of the month of Karti. And you get great spiritual benefit by offering the lamp to Lord Krishna. There's a nice story about, well, it's about a young girl named Lalitika. She was the daughter of a king. And every year during the month of Kartik, she would light lamps all over the father's palace and she would like that everywhere in the kingdom. She would go to every place 
and put lamps. And the people were surprised. They said, why are you doing this? Why do you put so many lamps everywhere? So she told them, she said, you have to understand the value of offering the lamp to the Lord. And she said, in my previous life, she said, I was a mouse. I was a mouse. And I was in the form of body of a mouse. And I was very hungry. And I was in the, in the temple. And there was nothing to eat. But then someone came with some cotton wool with some ghee on it. And they were offering the light. They lit it up. And they offered the light to the deity in the temple. So in my body as a little mouse, I came and it, I began to eat the cotton wool because it was all soaked in ghee. So I began to eat the cotton wool, but when I was eating the cotton wool because it, it was all lit up, it was burning, and my fur, the fur on my body caught fire. And I also caught fire as I was on fire. So I was, I was jumping in the body of the mouse. I was jumping in front of the deity. And in that way I died in front of the deity. Burnt. But I, I was very fortunate because I was in front of the deity and I was burning. So I was like a lamp also. And I was offered to the deity. So now, my next life, I was born as the daughter of the king. I was born in the royal family to be the king's daughter. So I saw the value of offering the lamp to the deity. So that's one pastime, how we get great spiritual benefit by offering a lamp. There's another pastime which tells a story about one man who came to a holy place during the month of Kartik. And this one man never did any pious activity. He was doing business like selling bones and skulls of different creatures. But somehow, he had the good fortune that he came to a holy place during the month of Karti. And they were bowing down. Some people were watching. He was looking at everyone. And he could see everything they were doing. So it happened on the last day of Karti, in the evening of Karti, on the last day, he was still there in the holy place. And just in the evening, as it got dark, a big snake appeared. And the big snake appeared and it bit this man. And the man was bitten by this poison snake. He fell down. So all the people who were there, they saw him. They tried to help him, but they couldn't do anything. And he died. So when he died, he was taken to Yamalok. The Yamadudas came and they took him to Yamalok. And they brought him to Yamaraj. So Yamaraj asked Chitragupta, his secretary, Who is this man? Tell me, what has he done? So Chitragupta told Yamaraj, he said, This man never did any pious activity. He never did anything pious, all sinful activities. So Yamaraj looked and said, oh, okay. Then take him, Kumbi Pakaloka. Take him to Kumbi Pakaloka, put him in the boiling oil and fry him. Kumbi Pakaloka is a big wok, boiling oil. And the sinful people are put there and they're put into the boiling oil. So Yamadutas, they took this man 
and he took him and he threw him into the boiling oil. But as soon as he contacted the boiling oil, the oil immediately became cool. It lost all of its heat. So the Yamadudas were watching and they were very surprised. They had never seen anything like this happen before. They said, how? Why like this? And then just at that time, young Narada Muni came there with Yamaraj. And Narada Muni told the people, he said, you have to understand, this man, although he never did anything pious, he never did anything pious in his whole life, one thing he did do was he saw people do a lot of pious activities. He saw people chanting mantras and offering lamps. He saw them offering prayers and bowing down. He never did anything, but he saw people doing all these things. So because he saw people doing it, he got one-sixth of the benefit. He got one-sixth of the benefit of all of these pious activities. So all of his sinful reactions are all removed by this seeing people do all those pious activities. So Narada Muni told him, you cannot harm this man. That's why he didn't put him. Although you put him, you thought you were putting him in boiling oil, but it became cool because he's not sinful anymore. All of his sinful reactions are destroyed. Just by seeing people worship the Lord during the month of Dhammada, during this auspicious Kartik month. So this is why we are encouraging people to worship also Lord Dhammada during the month of Kartik, that they will get special benefit, that it destroys sinful reaction. And it gives us an opportunity to awaken transcendental knowledge. That's very important. So this this month of Dhammadar, very, very auspicious, very special. We want to take advantage of it to save the conditioned souls, to save people from all their suffering from all the miseries which they're enduring, right? We should be compassionate on people and we should think how to save them. This is the mood of all the devotees. Devotees like Prabhupada, they're not thinking about their own self, they're thinking about others, how to deliver others. So, in the month of Kartik, we, give, we want to give everyone a chance to offer a lamp to Lord Dhammadar. Actually, this temple here in Malacca, they made a wonderful contribution, right? They're in the World Book of Records for offering the biggest lamp to Dhammadar during the month of Kartik. So, very special. We want to go on and try to improve our performance. Whatever we did in previous years, we want to do more this year. Right? We should always think how to increase our devotional service. So, this is why the devotees are beginning the month of Dhammadar a little earlier than usual. We want to give more and more people an opportunity to get the benefit of offering the light to Krishna. The lamp signifies knowledge. Wherever there is knowledge, then there's no ignorance. Wherever there is a sun, there's no darkness. So wherever there's the lamp, that's knowledge, and it means ignorance is destroyed. So that's also very important for all of us. We want
want to come to the platform of transcendental knowledge and come out of the darkness of ignorance. Okay? So, are we going to open a lamp today? Yeah. So, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, 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 Hare R